but let's bring in our guy coming off a big 2-0 and day on Tuesday. My guy, DJ Big Boss, handing out winners representing Los Angeles, California. Puts a big smile on my face. I absolutely love having you on the show. DJ Big Boss, Thursday morning. How are you doing this morning? Man, I'm mad as hell, man. Do you see what's going on right here? Look what they just, look at this shit. Look what they just put in here, man. Look at this machine behind me. How you going to put the person that's going to replace me in front of my face while I'm working, they just put these in this morning, man. Did, does anybody know how to sabotage these machines over here? You see this, Jimmy? Oh, man. Yeah, I think a little um, little uh, semen syrup mixture, maybe something like that. Make, get into those wires and fuck up those wires. But uh, that's sad. And, and, but Big Boss, no one can replace you. I don't believe a machine can. But I guess that's the direction that, that old Ron's is going to uh, here. That's sad. I hate seeing that. But... How's that milkshake machine? Is that milkshake machine working? The milkshake machine works when I want it to work, Jimmy. I just stopped in the middle of giving somebody a milkshake back there and told them, hey, the machine ain't working. Get up out of my face. I ain't got time for that. Look, I'm going to have to make some money today, though, because I got to get out of this job. <laughs> they, they talking about replacing me. I, I could just, I can feel it coming right here. <laughs> let, me, let me jump into some games, Jimmy. Let's go after uh, the Battle of the Bums again. You know, I hit with the Battle of the Bums on Tuesday. But the Battle of the Bums right here, we got San Francisco and the Mets going at it again. Now, the coach gave out a talk the game before the last game. They came in there. They handled business for the Mets. And um, now the line is all inflated. It opened at 150. It went up to 180 last night. But I just looked at it not too long ago, and it's back down to uh, minus 165, which shows money must be coming in on the Giants. But I don't know about the Giants. Everybody's iffy on the Giants' back. Do they pack the back on the road or not? Or You know, what are they doing? Well, let's take a look at the Giants' back. The Giants' bats, OBP, is .303 on the road. The over-under versus righty is 22-19. Leaning to the over. So I don't know if we want to count the Giants' backs out just yet. But the best spot on this one is going to have to be the total this time, and it's going to come down to pitching. Now, pitching, we're looking at Wheeler versus Anderson. Wheeler, another big name out there. Now, I've been kind of fading these big names when they come out there, but Wheeler, he kind of got the proof in the pudding right, in there, right here. He's 5-3 and three overall. He's 3-1 and one at home, and he's versus Anderson. Anderson's the young butt. Small sample size, not too much to study. He's 1-1 one one overall. He's 1-0 uh, and on the road, so that's pretty good for a young butt to get his first win on the road. He starts tonight on the road. Let's take a little look deeper into that. So, Anderson, last out, he went seven innings, five hits, two runs, and the 8-2 win versus Baltimore, which is pretty good. Then Wheeler, on the other hand, last out, he went seven innings, seven hits, gave up four runs, but he gave up two home runs in a 5-4 win against Arizona. So it looks like both pitchers are, um, are pretty tight in this one right here, and uh, they should do a decent job, but... I had to little dig a little deeper in this one because I was leaning towards um, the first five. So after I, I looked a little deeper in the, this one, let's talk trends in this one. Now, the over is 7-1 in the Mets' last eight following the win, and they just won. The over is 9-4-2 in the last 15 meetings between these two in New York. So everything is kind of leading on the over, and we're getting the seven and a half right here. So I kind of like the over on this one. Now, my top three edges on this one, after I dug a little more deeper, my top three edges on this one is, one, umpire Hunter is seven and five to the over. You always got to take in consideration the umpire. He's going to be behind the plate. Now, San Francisco is looking at playing the Dodgers next. So I figure San Francisco, they got to get them bats ready because they know the Dodgers are going to score. And if they want any chance of winning, they're um, not going to be able to outpitch them. They're going to have to outscore them. So they got to get their bats a little warm today. So I think they got to they got to get in the pool and, and, and swim around a little bit. Now, here's the important key that I looked up. So I'm always wondering, just like I hit with um, Arizona yesterday versus the Dodgers. You got to look at teams that come out and play early, teams that come out and play late. Now, I discovered on this one, in early games, with Wheeler, Wheeler is one 
and three in day games. So I'm I'm looking to um, capitalize on that. I feel Willer, he's probably going to give up a couple. San Francisco got to get the bats wet. They're going to hit a couple. So I'm going with the over in this one. Over seven and a half. Last night I seen it at uh, minus 116 at Heritage. But I also like, I don't know what your book gives you, but I also like the first five Giants team total over because Wheeler usually gives up a little something early on these early games. What you think about that, Jimmy? Oh, I think that was a fantastic breakdown. And it goes with a, a lot of what the chat has been saying about this spot, believing that the over is in play. Dom Ricci, our New York Mets expert, loving the over here. And that first five for the Giants, over one and a half at plus 112. Over one and a half at plus 112. That may also be a spectacular look. Christopher Clementine says, who's hitting for San Francisco? Yeah, their lineup does not look good. And Wheeler has this team's number. They don't get a lot of power hits off of Wheeler, but he's not looked good this year. I think those are great looks. The over, Atlas Party saying anyone on Giants team total over three and a half. And Atlas Party, man, your Danny Green move there was spectacular. Great, great work yesterday. I like both those looks. I like both those looks. I'm already on the Mets minus one. But that over seems very appealing. I'm going to spend a little more time thinking on it. But Big Boss coming off a 2-0 day. Like in Giants, first five team total over. That's at a plus line over one and a half. First five. And then also liking the full game over. I like it, Big Boss. What's next on the docket? I don't know, Jimmy. I'm thinking about it now. I might, I might be able to work with these machines Dealing with you guys on the show, that means I can step away from what I'm doing and they can take the order where I'm going. This might work out. I don't know. But let's take a look at this C student game. I was a C student, head of the, well, not really head of the class, but I was head of the C students at least. I was a pretty good C student. But we got Oakland and the Angels. Now, I'm sure some of y'all stayed up last night for the game. Tiny uh, with a three-run homer. Angels come back uh, down 1-7. Wonderful game. Shout out to David Lay on that one. He tweeted it out. Stay, stay, stay tuned. You know, this is not over with. And definitely the Angels came out with the win. Um, good work right there, fellow low bagger. Los Angeles edition, you know. But let's get into this one a little further. Now, I expect both teams to play tight in this one. After swinging the bats like that last night, they got to play again today. Um, let's take a look at where they're going after this game. I was, I was sitting back waiting to fade the sweep, but now that, you know, there's no chance for the road sweep, um, I had to, you know, look other ways. So, Oakland is going to Texans, right? And the Angels, um, I think they got Seattle coming to them at home. So, both teams right here, I don't know if it's if it's a must or what in this one, you know, but let's look a little further into it. So, we got Skaggs and Friars, Friars on this one. Now, Friars is four and three. Last out, he went six innings, four hits, two runs, which is not bad. He has an OBP of 2.296. And Oakland has a decent bullpen behind them. They might have got touched up a little bit last night, but, you know, they're number 10, they rank number 10. Um, you know, that, you, we expect them to play better. Now, let's look at Skaggs. Skaggs is four and five. Another big name right here that's really not living up to the, you know, hype or whatever. He's four and five. But guess what? He's a local. From Woodland Hills. And that means a lot because this is a three-game series. It's the last game. No matter if he's been in town or out of town, his coaches, the people that admire him, his family, I'm sure they're going to be there tonight. You know, he's on the mound, um, which is great for him, man. Great for the Angels. But his OBP is .311. So he's a little worse off than Friars in this one. And um, I expect uh, these teams to open up tight right here after last night. If they do cut on, they're going to cut on in the second half. Now, the line on this one is just ridiculous. They're giving us a, um, uh, they're giving us a nine and a half on this one. And they want to give us a five and a half for the first five on this one. I'm loving that uh, five and a half first five under minus 121. Now, my three uh, key edges on this one is one – Umpire Kerwin Daly is two and eight to the under behind the mound. And the under is nine, one, and two in Skag's last 12. And um, these bats will wake up late 
in this one. It's going to be another late night thing. They'll be sleeping in the beginning. They may wake up a little late. I like the full game under nine and a half as well, but it's a still of a deal to get five and a half uh, first five. You mean, you know, I could still win at a three, two and five innings. I'm loving it. Five and a half under. What you think about that, Jim? I think those are good looks. I mean, that's just a huge market move towards the over. Russell Gordy backing you. Let's take a look at what the A's do against Skaggs. 299 average, 522 slugging. They hit him hard, especially Chris Davis, who needs to get going. Four home runs in 18 at bats, 7 for 18 with four home runs and two doubles. Marcus Semien, two home runs, four doubles. He's 10 for 21 against Skaggs. This makes a ton of sense. Both these guys get hit. Even Fires gets touched, but the sample size is smaller. You know, Trout hitting 381 with a 1.357 OPS hits him very hard. Calhoun, 296 with an 816 OPS. Pools a little bit worse. I, I agree, and I guess that's why this number keeps climbing. I, I think that I like the A's to get the Skaggs, and it seems like Fires is starting to pitch a little bit better uh, Dave L.A. saying Angels money line. Guru Sports Bet says A's are my team. I was on the Angels yesterday, but Fires will get it done today. Guru says they kill Skaggs and lefties in general. A's by a bunch today. Big Ragu on the A's team total over. Dark Kent says A's, Angels over easy. You know, I think that the spot I want to back, and Raven and Desert says want to know the umpire 2-8 to the under. Wow. Uh, I, I think I like the A's here after that breakdown. I do. I like the way Fire's been going. And we do know that these A's just smash lefties. 277, 850 OPS, and that number's going up. Now, the Angels hit righties hard, but I think this is a good look. And I'm going to go for a score here with these Oakland A's. So I'm going to take them on the minus one line. I'm going to take them on. While I'm doing that, while I'm going to lock down this minus one line, Big Boss, thank you so much for coming to the show. Tell, let us know where we can find you on Twitter and tell us a little more about that weekly contest you run. You know, you can find me at DJ B I double G B O double S on Twitter, Jimmy. And the contest, once again, is going wonderful. I'm in second place. I went uh, uh, six and two yesterday. I went three and oh on Tuesday. Everything is lovely over there, man. We have a lot of people showing up, joining. It's not too late to join for this week. It's okay. It's going to be continuously week after week. You can start a little late this week. It's okay. Get a feel of it. And maybe next week, come in for the win. But yeah. If y'all get a chance, go to my Twitter, find the link, um, go ahead and follow me. Shout out to all the low baggers that won or whatever. And um, when you come to my McDonald's, you can, you can catch me on the uh, teleprompter at uh, most of the McDonald's and stuff. When you come in and, and even these grandies and stuff, look, coffee come black, okay? Don't come ask me to put your creamer in there and push the button. No, coffee comes black. You're getting the coffee black. You do your own thing. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that very much, Big Boss. Much love to you. Big Boss coming off a 2-0 and day on Tuesday, looking to get back at it again. He's liking the first five under in Oakland, L.A. That's up to five and a half. He's also liking the first five team total over, one and a half for the Giants in this early game, and backing the over seven and a half total. Those are Big Boss's three plays. What a treat it is to have Big Boss in the house.